Today I'm going to finish the Learn CSS lesson. This is the module Typography and this is the last project. In this project, they want us to use our understanding of typography to improve the readability of this website. So number one, the header session contains the author names along with the text Travels, Fiction, and Contact. Change the font weight of the header so that the text appears bold. Let's check the hint. In order to do that, you're just going to use selector, font weight, and bold. So I'm going to go here to header and add that and save. Number two, moving down the page, the banner session contains a stunning image, two blocks of text, an H2 tag, and an H1 tag. Give the H2 tag a font weight of 500 and the H1 tag a font weight of 900. So all you need to do is write font weight and then the number they're describing here. 500 for H2 and 900 for H1. Number three, after reviewing the project, the author suggests that the line height seems a bit off and needs to be altered through the page. Work down the page and set line height of the following page elements as recommended. The paragraph within the journal session should have a line height of 1.4 times the font size. The first letter of the journal session should have a line height of 0.87 times the font size. The quote should have a line height of 1.2 times the font size. The footer content should have a line height 1.5 times the font size. Line height can be set as a ratio when no units are supplied with its value. For instance, to set a line height of two times the font size, you can use a rule like this. Line height two. So the first session would be journal and we're gonna add line height of 1.4. First letter of that journal should have a line height of 0.87. The quote should be 1.5 times the font size and the footer 1.5. Number four, the site currently uses common serif and sans serif fonts found on users' computers. Since the author first published the site, a number of new font libraries have created fonts that you think would be a better fit for this site. Using Google Fonts API, add the following fonts to the index.html file. You may either link these fonts in a single link tag or three separate link tags. Select the three fonts and the correct weights from the API. Use the provided link tag in the header to link the fonts to your page. In order to add these fonts, we're going to click on this link and go to the Google Fonts page and you're going to type each of these fonts in the search bar and you're going to select the options that they're asking here. So for instance for Meriwether they're asking to add 400 and 400 italic. Regular for 100 you're going to click on the plus sign and 400 italic. So here I've added all the fonts they were asking and all you're going to do is Copy this link and add to your HTML, or you can add the specific family rules to your CSS. But on the exercise, they're asking to add a link to your HTML. Let's copy. We're going to add the link right after the title and before the style sheet. Number five, they're asking to add the newly added fonts to our project. Set the typeface of H2 tag in a banner session to work sense. So in style.css, we're going to find banner H2 and add font family work sense. In H1 banner, we're going to set the font April fat face, journal to work sense, and typeface photo caption to Meriwether.
Number six, the page looks great, but you also have to account for users who may not be able to access the Google fonts. Find several fallback fonts to use in case they're restricted from accessing fonts from a third party. Set the fallback fonts as follow. H2 tag in the banner session, Arial and sans serif. In order to add the fallback, you're just going to add a comma and add Arial and sans serif. For banner H1, they want us to add sans serif as a fallback. The journal session, we're going to add serif. And finally, the photo caption, serif as a fallback. Number seven, instead of linking the font from index.html, you realize it would be a better to import Google Fonts in the fields directly into stylesheets with the font face property. Use the font face property to import the fonts directly to the style sheets and remove the link tags that reference the Google Fonts from the index.html page. Hint, copy and paste the at font face rule from the Latin. Sessions of the rule set at the href of the font from Google. For instance, the href for Roboto returns a series of at font face rules. Include the Latin session for each font and font weight that you need. So if you follow this link for the fonts, what you're going to do, you're going to copy under the Latin session for each of the font and font weight that you need. So Latin font face, and copy this, and paste under CSS. Let's do that for each font. Number eight, looking at the page, the author suggests the page really come together if we use a specific font, Corsa One Regular, in the footer. The files have been downloaded and added to our project within the fonts directory within the styles directory where our CSS files are stored. So we can find that under here. To complete the task, you need to use the at font face property to make this font accessible in the style sheets. Name the font Cursor 1. So we're going to use at font face, font family, this will be named Cursor 1. And you're going to add the source of the font. So source URL font slash and the name of the file. Course at one regular TTF. Number nine, now that you have a font face rule, set the font family property of the footer to Cursor at one with Meriwether and Serif as the fallback fonts. Okay, so footer font family, Cursor at one with two fallbacks, Meriwether and Serif. Let's save, and there it is.